Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Dawn here. So how are we doing today? I hope we are well. Um, we're back on today uh, to do some resin. Um, I got these moulds. These are pen moulds but they're in the shapes of wands. Um, and I got them from Amazon. So if I can leave links here, I will leave a link to them. Um, if there is no link, then I highly suggest just going onto Amazon and putting in um, silicon wand pen moulds, and it, <clears throat> and then they should come up. So I really, really pleased them. I did get these as well. I actually these I bought from my wholesaler. Um, but you can buy. Um, like pen blanks um, off eBay um, and I'm sure Amazon will have them as well um, so yeah I've just got some pen blanks which are going to go in I'm hoping they fit in um, if not I'll have to we'll have to rethink this uh, video and then because um, I am doing a full tub of my resin I'm just letting that thing um, go through um, I've got this mold here which is like a decorative plate mold um, and my lovely friend Christine from Christine card and things sent me a load of drills now in the, the video that I did where I said I was using drills to make my glue pot and embellishment tray um, yeah a lot of you didn't know what they were so um they are actually beads that you use for diamond art painting um and when you finish your diamond art painting you always have um quite a few left over um and i mean some people do store them and keep them for custom um paintings so, so they'll do their own paintings with them personally i don't um and i found that putting them in the resin makes them look really really good um and I, i've loved it so what i'm wanting to do with this one is actually i want it to be a ball and i'm going to use all of these that our lovely christine has sent and i think it'll be quite nice as an embellishment ball so uh, what i'll do so we'll do that in a second and i'll sort of go through everything that i'm doing as we're doing it um so yeah so the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm actually going to put the pens into our molds so yeah so they don't quite fit right to the end but i'm assuming that'll be okay because it fits in there oh hang on one sec sorry about that um uh yeah <laughs> this is my uh my I'm going to say Barbara um, started playing. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, we're going to see what it's like. Now, there are, I've got six different moulds here. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm curious to see how they're going to turn out and if they're going to look okay. Um, I have got them in a tray. Now, the reason why they're in this tray is really just for me to transport them to the house. Um, so, anyone who who's brand new to my channel, because this is my second channel, um, this um i work in a studio at the bottom of my garden so it's an insulated summer house um that i'm in on my other channel there is um an actual video series where i show it getting built um and i absolutely love it in here however one thing that i have noticed with resin is um because temperatures do get quite cold in here uh, the resin doesn't always set properly so i like to just transport them into the house overnight um so that i know that they're definitely going to um a setup okay so yeah so i've got them ready i put my pens in now um so they're in i do have i'm gonna grab this box of bits and pieces uh, so this is like alcohol inks and stuff um i do have some little pori cups which i thought we'll do some bits in and then i just got a new glitter as well so i thought we might have to use that so uh, please make sure when you are working with resin you are in a well ventilated area or oh, the other thing i wanted to show you is this this is um my card that i received from our lovely christine isn't that just beautiful she's used washi tape uh, for this background and then she's actually used one of my nature treasures um toppers which i just think is lovely so yeah it brought a massive smile to my face that's so, all christine if you're watching this thank you so much honey and i'm hoping you like what we do with your leftover drills so i'm going to lift this up because i do have a silicone um sheet um, and it is a very well used silicon sheet as you can see very very well used 
right that one's empty now so that can go um so this just needs mixing up so what i tend to do is when i play with resin i just mix up a full batch um so it's just a 16 ounce which is around 500 mils um and i put it in this big bowl um i give it a really good stir and then i just take out bits because you've got a good 40 minutes in which to work with this so i always like to have quite a few different things on my table um to sort of play with um so the one thing that i really want to do first is definitely the ones so i'm going to make sure that um we do the ones first and then with the um the bowl that i'm wanting to create i think what i'm going to do is actually sprinkle the uh, drills into it and then pour the resin on and mix it in that way um it is a self-leveling um but i think most resins are self-leveling uh not an expert at all on resin um i just know from playing and experimenting so i am going to start putting my gloves on because um it is going to start getting messy so highly recommend you use gloves for this so i just give this a really good stir so you want to stir it for a good five minutes you really need to make sure that you get um it well a mix because that's another reason why your resin might not set properly is if you haven't mixed it well enough um make sure you scrape the sides the bottom everything get it all incorporated um so i'm going to do that quickly off camera well i say quickly um it's going to take me a good few minutes so i'm going to mix this properly um there is a few bits in there but um yeah that's just from the sides and it's all good um, so yeah, let's get this mixed and then I'll come back and we'll start, um, yeah, doing our things. Right, okay, I'm back. So, um, what I've done is I've just taken some of this out. I'm just going to put this over there on my other silicone mat. Um, I've just taken some out and put them in six little containers because each one we are going to do different. Now, one of them, I really want to use this. It's called Treasure Chest and it's from Nuvo. It is beautiful in resin, like so nice and so we're going to put some of that in i think that is just going to look absolutely gorgeous i'm just going to grab a little um lollipop stick and we're just going to mix that in now i'm not going to put any i don't think i'm going to put any um what do you call it in here um color i think i just want to keep it the glitter because it is such a beautiful glitter that yeah um every time i've used it i haven't put anything else in with it i've just used the glitter and it just looks stunning um so yeah so that is looking lovely um now which one are we going to do with this one i think this one it looks to be the elder one so that's the one we're going to use so hopefully i can get it in without any issues i'm not very very good at pouring i have to say i make a right mess yeah we're making a mess now i've done way too much in that i've had a feeling it might be okay now i'm just going to prod it with my lollipop stick um and that really is uh just so that i can get it um and i'm going to sort of give it a bit of a squeeze as well um now I'm not worried about any that comes up over it because what I will do is um, I will sand that um, when it has cured and take it off. Um, but I know my eldest daughter, if these work out and as soon as I show her, she is going to absolutely love these and probably will want a set for herself. So we're all a bit Harry Potter mad. Well, my daughter and I are. Um, so yeah right actually we don't need a lot at all so what i'm gonna do so there's that one okay i'm just i'm just gonna put a little extra in because i'd rather sand it than it not have enough right okay there we go because it does slightly shrink it anyway but yeah i've done way too much there so i'm going to use this one again but this time i'm going to put some of this metallic pigment um color in and you only need a tiny bit this i got from craft box um so we're going to put that in uh so it's just a metallic pigment um 
and it is ab again absolutely beautiful so we're going to put that in with it uh, with that glitter just to give us something a little bit extra something a little bit else I reckon I can get another two ones out of this actually and I think I'm going to go with this like tulip one it looks like a tulip at the top and it looks really really pretty so I'm just not sure if the pens are going to work very well just because yeah we're embedding them in and they don't fit the full mold so um yeah like I said this is just to see if it does work or not because you don't know unless you try okay so this one's definitely taking more I'm hoping you guys can see I just looked up and um, I noticed I'm right in that corner so again just going to pop this in like so Ooh, I think that one's going to be lovely and I've still got a little bit left so what I'm going to do is let's pour some of this in oh actually I think this one might have a hole in it because it's just leaked it's leaked all over so let's just pour it all in I don't like it personally I don't like these cups um I don't tend to use them um, they're just too flimsy for myself to use uh, but the reason why I have them is because they did come with the really hard plastic cups so yeah um, and because I have them I'm going to use them right okay now I want to put some colour in so we're just basically now I'm just mixing things up um, where's I want green a bit of a weird colour probably to go with what we're doing but um, I feel like that's the colour I want to do where I'm just looking oh there we go so I've got a nice green here and it's just an alcohol ink these were a really cheap set that I got from Amazon they cost me about 13 pounds for about 20 of them um really inexpensive so yeah um I love Amazon because you, you get it the next day <laughs> if you're with Prime in a way you, you get it the next day oh that's lovely yeah I really like that so I'm gonna do this one with the green and I haven't sort of mixed it up completely hopefully we get a little bit of marbling in there okay just sort of concentrating down this end where the the bigger bit hole is okay now I'm choosing to do it this way because on the first part, on the first um, one that we were doing, it was a bit of a, yeah, a bit of a nightmare. And I don't have the steadiest of hands. Right, I will be back in a second.
right okay sorry about that my husband rang so i've just been talking to him so this little bit will you'll have seen will have been on um speed up uh just so that you can see what i was doing because I, the problem is when you're doing resin you can't just leave it so i did put some extras in this little soap dish which i am super excited to see how it's going to turn out so what i'm going to do now because i do need to get a move on because we are going way too slow <laughs> Um, I don't know how long I've, I've been on the phone for with my husband, but yeah, um, I really don't want this resin to set up. So, um, I think I've got enough time. Right, sorry about the rustling. I just realised I probably should have done that off camera. Now, this won't fit in. So, what I'm going to do, so we've got the resin here and I've still got some bits of resin in there. I'm going to grab the drills and I'm just going to sprinkle them on. Now, I don't, I'm not sure how many, so they are different colours. You know what, I'm just going to, let's put the full pack on because I think we're going to need it. Um, yes, we are. Okay, now I only want this to be a thin layer of resin. Um, so I'm just going to push all of this in. Now, I am going to mix the resin with the drills in the mould. Um, and the reason for that is because is I had a bit of a nightmare with um actually this would look lovely as a tray wouldn't it i had a bit of a nightmare getting this clean uh when i'd done it before um so i said right next time i use the drills we're just going to mix it in um it is going to be messy but it just means that it won't be as bad so you can sort of see we definitely need some more okay luckily i did grab out another mold um so always make sure you've got plenty of molds on your like um with you when you're doing this everyone's going to be watching this thinking you are definitely not a professional and you would be completely right i am not the good thing about this resin is it is self-leveling so as long as i just get these mixed in then um just i don't know there's something about the drills or the beads um whatever you want to call them um the technically so technically they're actually called cabochons so a cabochon is a bit a half bead so it is rounded on one side and it's flat on the back that is technically the name of them but um they are called uh, drills for anyone who does diamond art painting so yeah right you can sort of see that is i mean yes we've made a mess but that is all nicely in so now what i'm gonna do i've got this little bit here with some gold in i'm just making sure definitely to get you know all those drills incorporated and i'm hoping that we can make this in a bowl so what i will be doing and what i'm going to be looking for uh with this is i'm actually going to be looking for it to be um not set but not tacky i need it to be a, i need to be able to take this out of the mold um but and not stick to me so that's so it, it, it'll take about four maybe five hours um but i'll check it after four um and see oh i'm loving that okay so it saves me wasting now we're gonna have a gap where that is which is fine i'm gonna just put that on there oh my goodness me this is so messy it's ridiculous yeah i do like to make things difficult for myself but i do think that is going to look fab um but i really want to use this up because if we can you want to use everything so i did get my lotus out um candle mold however oh, i've just realized i've got another pen mold there um there we go so that is that done now i can't lift this up i've just realized well i can i do have a board so let me get my board and then we're just going to slide this on here and then we can move that out of the way so in about four or five hours i will be back um and we'll see what it looks like 
Um, all these be like beads that are sort of on the outside, I'm not really worried about at all. Um, but yeah, it's going to be interesting to see if we can. I mean, even if I kept it like that and had it as a tray, how lovely would that be? Um, I think that would just be absolutely gorgeous. So I do have this mould and by the looks of it, we are getting some drills in it because I've got drills all over me. Um, and actually that is perfectly fine, I think. Sorry, there's a big chunk of, yeah, um, resin on there. Right, this is why you need a mat as well. So I do have this. So I think what I'm going to do with that piece, because we've already done it, is I'm going to get, um, where's that gorgeous glitter I've just bought? I'm going to put this in. It. So that's going to be this one now this is just two um cocktail sticks pushed together let me just see if i can move you up there we go um that i used to mix it and then it's got like a bit a big chunk of resin on the end so it's perfect for mixing um so we're gonna have that okay because that is gorgeous and then in this piece um this bit i am gonna add um I don't want that one. I've got this gorgeous dusky pink. Uh, it's a, actually a refill for DP1, um, which is like a dusky pink that they have, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, but I don't have the pens anymore. However, I love the inks. Right, so I'm going to mix that. So make it this lovely, gorgeous colour. And we do have bits of glitter in there. So, get that all nicely incorporated. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour a bit of this. I've got a feeling I may need to get out another mould. Um, I think we still might have a bit, yeah. And then we're going to pop a drop of that on. And I'm just going to do this all the way through. And then let's just see what happens um yeah oh now this is why i should never be allowed on my own working so when that happens i just push on the middle so if you have a mold that's very similar to this um just pop just push down on that middle and it really does help okay and then a bit more of this one Okay, yeah, I'm definitely going to have extra, which is really cool. So, I'm just going to get that in that. Okay. Yeah, I am definitely a messy crafter, by the way, guys. <laughs> if you haven't already guessed that, um, yeah. Now, the bits that are on this here, on my mat, because um, a silicone mat, it does come off. Um, it's really good. Uh, so, however, that is a uh, fast cast resin. Um, so, yeah, every now and again, the fast cast resin doesn't come off as nicely. Right. Okay. I'm just going to push that down. And then the other thing I'm going to do, which I like to do, is just squeeze on all those corner bits. Give it a tap. Like so, put our hands in it. This is why we need gloves. And yeah, and then just sort of see what happens with that. So like I said, we have got some more left. So what I'm gonna do, first of all, I'm gonna change my gloves because they are super, super, super like gunky. Um, and then what we're gonna do is I'm going to grab another mold very quickly. I'll grab my letter mold so every time i have left over always put um use my my letter mold so we're going to grab that let me grab some more gloves yeah i do like to change my gloves especially when it gets really really icky and sticky and yeah okay but yeah 
I just I think every time I sit down to resin I love using a full bottle a lot of people think it's just a waste but I just love to have a play so I just keep playing really until um, until it's all gone and I always end up with such beautiful things um, yeah and everything gets used as well so I'm gonna move this um, so I'll put it on that board and then we're just going to grab this. Now I've got a couple that have already been started, so from leftover bits of resin. So we're going to fill them up with our leftover bits, like so. Now it's not all... How gorgeous, how gorgeous! Okay, right, so, and then let's grab this and let's fill these up. And then what I do is I actually turn these into key rings um, and they come to the craft stalls with us. Um, and the other thing is, is I tend to do the letters that I know people <laughs> with just so that, yeah, I can gift them out as well. Okay, and fill that one up a bit more. So it's always handy to have something like this. Now, the letters that I, I don't end up using, the really good thing about it is, um, because I do mixed media, I do use letters quite a lot as background. So these, none of these will ever go to waste. Okay. Now, I want to add a touch more glitter, so I'm going to add some more of this glitter in because it is stunning. I wish I got more now. Right, I'm hoping you can see. So let's mix this glitter in just to this bit. And I do like to really use every little bit that's left to me. Okay, so then... And it's nice because you're sort of changing it in between using it. So you're getting different letters from one batch. Okay. And this one. Oh. Come on. That I'm just trying to be delicate. I'm not delicate. I've never been delicate. But yeah, we're going to try. Right. Okay. Um, do I have any that have any sort of... I sort of look as well to see if any have got resin from another time because I do literally use every bit even if it doesn't fill the mould and, and then it means that some of them end up with different colours in and they look really really nice I mean I will un unmould all of these with you so you can see but yeah if you do sell your crafts um, I've just realised that tea has got some in so let's see if we can fill this one up um, if you do sell your crafts these are definitely really good for you know your craft fairs now I've got a little bit left in here and I'm not going to waste it at all. We are going to pop this into the mould um, and then the next time I come and do any resin um, this one will be the first one to, to be filled. So yeah um, and I just leave it. If they're not full I leave it until the next time. Hope that makes sense. But I'm just looking at those little pots next to me and I bet we can get some more resin out of those so we might be able to. Right, okay, move that. I mean, we've got, <laughs> I honestly do try and use everything. So there's a little bit left in the bottom of there, so let's grab it because now they've settled. Okay, and then we've got this gold. So let's pop that in. I 
I'm probably and people probably think why are you using the little dregs honestly if you can get an extra something from it then why not um I love this because it's a homemade sort of like spatula and then we've got this one which has got a little bit left in it and by using these tiny little bits I think you know this is now filled <laughs> I mean how amazing is that and it's bits that we would have just got rid of yeah absolutely fab and there is a little bit of green left in here as well so I'm going to add that to it as well because we can fit it in why not okay and then that bit can just sit in the bottom of this one until I next come to it so yeah so that is me using um all the resin up I mean I've still got like loads of bits on our mat <laughs> um so if you really wanted to you can pick that up and pop it on but yeah um I mean how cool is that we've got all that extra um you know all these extra letters from the leftover um 500 mils or 16 ounces of resin goes a long long way as you have seen we've got um we've got our lotus mold out of it we have our pens out of it we've got a dish out of it a soap dish and we've got some letters plus hopefully a bowl if all goes to plan so yeah so join me um the next bit will be me unmolding the ball and setting that up and then um that'll be in about four hours time and then tomorrow we will unmold everything and have a look at it for me it's going to be 24 hours for you it's going to be a second so yeah i'll be back soon okay so this is no longer tacky so we can turn it into a ball well at least mold it for a ball my husband <laughs> is stood right outside of the studio pulling the most weirdest faces honestly right i have just got one of our um balls from the house that's all i have and all i'm going to do sorry for that really loud noise i'm hoping this is okay you've got to do it while it's still soft but um you don't want to take it out when it's tacky so it's when it's no longer tacky um that's the best time for you to do it I, need, I want to work out as well so once I've unmolded this I want to work out what which side I like the most okay because this is oh look at that that looks lovely I like oh I like both sides what do I want I think we'll have that one for the inside of the bowl and this bit for the outside so all I'm gonna do and this is why you want to sort of do it while it's still um you know soft and it's only just sort of set um i'm just going to mold it around the bowl now you can do it one of two ways you can either do it inside the bowl or you can do it outside the bowl um now the only thing i'm sort of worried about is that it's going to stick to the bowl but we'll see what happens see what happens <clears throat> i have done this once before but i did leave it a, quite a long time um before i put it over so it wasn't as malleable as this i think that's the word i want to say that's the word but i'm not quite sure but i'm wanting it sort of to go over and to be a bit like a flower no nope, that's not centered either i want to get this right so, oh sorry <laughs> right let's try that again i want it to be the same all the way around so it's going to be quite curved okay so i'm just going to leave this as is now i'm not worried about those edges or actually i think that might look really nice you know when this is hardened so i am going to take this back in the house um just because it is night time i've actually got my dressing going on um and my pajamas on uh to come out and do this so i did this at about 11 o'clock this morning um and the time is now oh my battery is running out um it's half six 
so this is the first chance that I've been able to do so I, I've just kept checking it every hour from about two o'clock um, to see whether or not this has been ready to go and yeah so I mean it's not really the same on either side which I think that might bother me a bit so I don't know whether to while you know what I'm really tempted to do actually cut around the top right and no that's going to bother me it being not equal on both sides so like I said we've got the time I've got the time in which to to do this so we're going to do it make sure nope it needs to be more over it's getting it right right that seems to be right okay so that seems to be more right so let's do that now and like I said I'm just going to that outside of the ball oh my goodness let me see if I can just zoom in for you guys so you can see it how beautiful does that look yeah I think I'm just going to have to accept the fact that it's not going to be perfect but what I am going to do is I'm going to sort of squidge it up against it and try and see if we can because I know that that would just annoy me <laughs> um but yeah there is ways and ways around these things so just because yeah I'm liking that I really like that so what I might do is just make this bit a bit larger and just slightly pull it because like I said we've got that time in which to play with it now you've only got a short window um, you don't want to take this out like when it, the tackiness has just gone um, at all let me zoom back out uh, yeah you want to sort of keep it the way that it is now I am loving that and I think that is going to look fab. Oh my goodness. Let me just turn it around. So that's going to sort of be the top of the ball. Um, really, really like it. Um, now with this top bit, there's a number of things that we can do. We can leave it. I mean, I can leave it just like that. So it rolls over. Um, so we have like a roll top. But I think I'm going to have it. Oh, it looks like a hat. <laughs> I think I'm just going to have it like this. I'm hoping it comes off the ball. I'm thinking that I should use, sorry, uh, use like a quick release spray or something. But we'll see what happens. Um, that's all we can do. This is my second time doing this. Um, so yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how this turns out. And I have to say, I'm just loving those drills in the resin isn't that just absolutely beautiful um, and you're probably thinking what am I going to use the bowl for well it can be a sweet a sweetie bowl my other one let me see if I can grab it it is actually in the studio and it is my fruit bowl so I have fruit um for my lunch in the studio so yeah I literally use it so this was my first one as you can see it wasn't perfect it wasn't as um malleable as this one um or as mold moldable as this one but yeah um i still love it and yeah i use it for my fruit bowl so that i have fruit for when i get hungry <laughs> so yeah um so that's it really so i will be back tomorrow um so it's going to be a good 12 hours um yeah when this is all done and um is all hopefully completely set and we will take the ball out of it and we'll see exactly what it's like so yeah i will see you guys tomorrow right okay we're back so this is fully hardened and it looks fab the only thing is i have no idea how i'm gonna get this ball out now i use this ball so don't please don't be worried that if i break this ball or anything i do have a lot of them um so yeah my i did say to my husband which one can we sort of take out so this is going to be interesting to see how i get this ball out um i still think that um i should use like a release spray or something um because yeah i don't know how else i would do it <laughs> 
yeah no idea at all how we're going to get this ball out but have to say loving loving the look of it um i think i need sort of something flat to work underneath um and the lollipop sticks i have a two um what about this blade will this work so yeah definitely use a release spray or even um i'm trying to think like cling film would have worked right i'm just going to put it on my knee because i think it's going to be better right i think i'll do this off camera because i think i'm going to have to use my body to help get it off um which means you can't really see um I hopefully was successful uh but yeah um one thing i have learned is let's use uh release sprays for this um i mean they're looking really good i'm gonna unmold one of them and see how it looks oh right so it has broken off there so it's not the greatest however it does look kind of cool uh scissors so i would have to um yeah trim around there but that's fine um this was quite a thick solution if i remember rightly this one in particular um i don't know if that's meant to be on there it looks as though it's not right anyway but yeah there's one pen uh not i mean they're still soft um and they're going to be uh it's normally within like 48 hours that um they go super hard once you've unmolded that one now this one oh i broke it off again yeah I wonder if I can do something with UV resin, but that one's worked out beautifully. Really nice. I think I'm going to have to start using a pipette because actually when I'm looking in here, this bit hasn't got anything in there either. So that's something that I'm going to have to work on. I, I'll be back in a second. I'm going to do this and then I'll be back. Right. Okay. So sorry about that. Um, I actually got a phone off my a phone call off my father-in-law, and would you believe it? We, i've released it so all i did to release it i literally just sort of kept pulling it like that so let's take the ball out oh my goodness how cool is that so and as you can see my ball isn't damaged so i think if i left this to go completely solid um i mean it is more or less solid but it has still got some wiggle room but if i left that to go completely solid on the ball i don't think i would have been able to have got that out but how amazing is that that is just so cool i love it and the sparkle from that bit of gold that we had that we sort of put in so the inside is mainly gold um as you can see and you can't really see many of the drills uh but then this is the ball I mean, isn't that just stunning um and all made from this little mold yeah so that's what it was um i'm glad that so what i did when i went in the house because i didn't like the way it, it had gone over i actually pushed all of these down and then um i do have a little bit of a ridge inside but you can't really tell unless you actually look at it um i sort of put it over like a long canister so that it just drooped down um because i just i felt like that was going to be the best way of creating this ball but i <laughs> i'm absolutely loving that that is gorgeous so that is the bowl made from the drills um so i'm going to pop our pens in there and then like i said i think a lot of these i don't think have gone in like right at the end of the pens yeah um so there's like a bit missing from that as well the pens seem to have worked fine i do need to sort of test them um and see you know if they work fine with the ends not being but I wonder if I can put like a little bit of UV resin and just sand that just to help with that. I mean, they look they look fab. I'm loving them. So they just need a little bit more practice and just to make sure, yeah, there's a, a, a hole there as well. So, yeah, um, it would seem that I do. I haven't taken the time. Oh, actually, that one's not that bad. That one can definitely be salvaged. Um, that's just, let me see if I can zoom in on you guys. That one is just a, oh, 
come on and stop right, stop looking at that you don't want to look at that there we go it's just got a little hole there um so i'll probably fill that in and then this bit will get sanded but that one i really like that one i think that one's worked out quite nice uh, this one yeah definitely can you see completely missed that how i've missed that i don't know but i have um yeah i wouldn't care that is gorgeous i mean these were just to see how like yeah um my tester sort of thing before we make them properly luckily i bought lots of insides i'm still going to use these um for myself um but yeah i mean i think the only way that i could maybe sort of deal with that if i really wanted to was put a bit of the um the resin back in but i think that'd be a bit of a faff on i'd rather just redo it so i might come back on in in a week or two and we'll do these again and try again this one however looking inside the mold looks as though this might yeah this one has worked beautifully so out of all of them this was the first one we poured as well this no second one sorry this one has worked this one is just absolutely perfect there is nothing wrong with this one at all so yeah i love that absolutely love it how amazing does that look so yeah really really pleased with that one so we do have one that's worked out of them all but it's all about um your trial and error i think sometimes with resin uh, let's zoom out just a little and then um this is look at that back isn't that back just stunning so this was the uh where i poured all that extra resin in and to make a soap dish um i love these soap dishes I actually have a grey one that I made. Oh my goodness, look how beautiful that is. Um, from my bathroom. Oh my goodness. That is stunning. How beautiful is that? I just need to sand this edge because that will annoy me. Um, I mean, however, that edge actually gives it a really good definite hold. Um, so I might just slightly sand it. Uh, but yeah absolutely beautiful that glitter is just stunning yeah really really pleased with that and then this is the final one which is the lotus uh, candle holder now i did a, a test on these do not use real candles in your resin pieces um so as much as yes it fa it burned fine it actually turned the resin soft um and you don't want that so i've actually for all of my candle holders that i've been making i've bought the electric um that's gorgeous um the electric uh tea lights um and i highly recommend you use electric with with the resin i'm not sure about eco resin on how that works um but definitely with your clear resin or with your fast cast resin do not use an open flame um so i did it in a controlled environment when i say controlled environment i did it outside um but yeah how gorgeous is that i wish you could see what i could see um because i i keep looking at the camera and the camera is not doing this any justice whatsoever um we do have a couple of air bubbles which is the first time i've got air bubbles actually with this um mold but yeah um oh, just absolutely beautiful how gorgeous is that that sparkly iridescent on the glitter um and then while i was off camera i thought i'm gonna do another glue pot um so because uh, i know you guys are waiting for them to be restocked in the shop um so i haven't been very well i'm afraid um so i haven't got around to doing it so this will be the second one but i thought i wouldn't do this on camera for you um so let me just there we go oh, oh my goodness how beautiful is that so again a little bit of a sand on the bottom um just to take away that sharpness but that is oh my goodness that is just stunning so oh, look at that i forgot to take my put my glue lid back on again i keep doing that i need to stop so there you go that is um uh, yeah the glue pot let me put my lid back on um 
I mean, how fab is that? It is perfect size for the, uh, I think this is the two ounce, yeah, the two ounce or the 60 mil Nouveau Glue um, pot. Um, the bigger one doesn't fit in them, but I, if, I mean, if you've been on my other channel and watched me for a while, you will know that this, um, that I live, well, not live, <laughs> um, Oh my goodness, can't get my words out. Yeah, I use my glue pot all the time. It has been in nearly every single video for about two years. Um, this is my new one that I've just made and I've got the matching embellishment tray. Um, I absolutely love my glue pot and I, oh, I couldn't be without it now. So yeah, so those are the little bits of resin that, that we have made. Um, I will come on again. I think we'll try these pens again and have a go with them um like you say one of them's turned out perfectly which is so nice um the other ones they have got their faults i mean that one is is very much near perfect it's just got that hole um which we can fill with some uv resin um whereas i think the rest yeah the rest i'm going to use personally to see how well the ink works in these um but yeah these four didn't quite work um they're not good enough to give away whereas these ones i think i would um i would sand this bit down so it's flat um and surprisingly i was a bit worried about the flat edge on the back but surprisingly they feel really nice so let me just grab my book um and yeah just give it a little squiggle i mean that seems to be working Hang on. Now we've stopped working because the only thing I'm worried about, so it has stopped working, is the end of the pen. Um, it seemed to have, uh, I think you need to have that hole in it. And obviously it's not working now. So I think I'm going to have to find a way. And this is why we do tests. Um, I'm going to see if it's all of them. So the work for a while, or if it's just that one. I mean, this one... This one's working beautifully. Why is it the perfect pen isn't working? Whereas this one is working absolutely perfectly. Oh, there we go. We're running out. Right. Okay. So, yeah, we do need to. So, I'm wondering if I need to put like an extra tube or something in, um, you know, just so that you've got that airflow to it because that's not working either. And that one isn't right okay so i need to rethink these pens completely um they didn't the problem is with the molds they didn't come with the pens that you put in them um so that sort of stretch right the way across i am looking i've got loads of these pipettes and i'm wondering whether or not have i got the pens to hand yes so i have these these are the other ones i got black and i got blue so what i'm thinking is maybe because i think you need that airflow so i'm wondering if the pipettes fit in there which it does yeah i'm going to come back on i'm going to do this and then this would sit in here and then I would cut it and then put where that hole is at the top, we'd put it in and then maybe then those pens would actually work. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, I think that's that might be what I need to do. And I've got loads of these. They're super inexpensive as well. So I think, yeah, um, we'll come back on and we'll, we'll have another go with the pens um, and to see. But I don't want to waste these. These are the only pen molds I've got. So I don't want to waste them. So if there's something I can do, I mean, there's quite a bit of room in there. Then, you know, let's have a look. I'm just going to chop it. You basically you're sort of doing this with me um so we're seeing together what yeah so that now fits on there perfectly so that might be enough to let the air travel through so that the pen does work so yeah i think that's what i'm gonna do i'm wondering if if we can if these will go on the ends over like the top of the end so that we can use the full pipette i just think you know if we've got use what you've got um yeah i need to take a little bit more off there there we go because we do want that just to slide over which is there and then 
because I'm just going to leave these in. Right, I do need to take off that one for this one. And then, so this, it might not work where it all sort of fits in together, but it could. We don't know till we try. So that, yeah, I think what I would need to do is just put like a little bit of tape or something on that just to keep that in place and then yeah because we're not going to see it but yeah I think that's what I'm going to do and we're going to try um this end bit I don't think I can use because these are quite yeah I'd, I'll show you there I mean but we can get two pens out of it. yeah so I'll come back on with the pens um and we'll try them again um, but I think I said in the beginning I wasn't sure whether or not they would work covered up. Now I'm not going to waste these and you're probably thinking oh they're just going to go in the bin. They're not. I'm actually going to do a mixed media project with them. So even though they don't work, that one works again. Yeah, um, so even though the pens don't work there's no reason why I can't use these in a mixed media project. Um, so yeah. But I had a feeling when I was doing it, but yeah, so we'll do like a nice, um, a nice, uh, magical themed mixed media project with these very, very soon. So it will be on this channel, um, uh, but they're lovely. Um, yeah, I'm really pleased with them. So anyway, we now know what to do with these and it is, that's the thing with, um, resin I found. I'm not an expert on it and you know people who are an expert who have been who've watched this video are probably thinking oh my goodness what is she doing and you know I will completely agree with them because it is oh my goodness what what are you doing with them because yeah but you don't know until you try um and I'm not one for reading instructions I never have been anyone who knows me knows that I just don't read instructions I like to learn uh, the hard way um so yeah so but no these will not go to waste um anything i make with resin never goes to waste because i always you can always turn it into a piece of art there's always something that you can do and i can just see a nice framed picture using these not in this color but we um this one's all wonky if i remember rightly so was the there so you could have something like that and then have like I don't know a centerpiece or something yeah and all painted really nicely so yeah so they will be featured in another video very soon so they were a definite fail for pens but they're not a fail for a mixed media project so we'll come back on and do those pens again sometime soon however my bowl which is the thing that i started out wanting to do has worked beautifully i am loving it and my extra little dishes um again absolutely love them so yeah i'm gonna say it was a bit of a success here uh, and this which i did off camera I, um so yeah um anyway i hope you've enjoyed seeing me experiment with the resin and creating the ball um yeah it was nice to see the pens and yeah i know hopefully we know what we're going to do next time with them and like i said it's all trial and error and any that don't work will go into the mixed media piece but yeah that's it for today guys thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed it here if you have please do consider subscribing and i will catch you guys in the next video very soon but until then please do take care and happy crafting bye <laughs>